Evening everybody, Tyree Smith here with you. Northern Michigan men's basketball team hasn't been as good as people would have hoped for this season thus far. With the record of four and five before tonight's battle, first year head coach Matt Makerzak is looking to try and keep his team confidence up before going to the holiday break. They beat the Huskies, a very good basketball team, Michigan Tech. Could they do the same tonight against Hillsdale? Well, let's find out, shall we? Northern Michigan hosting the Hillsdale Chargers. They're trying to get a little win streak going to Wildcats. Late into the first, Dilapa Olainka spins and gets the tough shot to go. Later, Olainka, he doesn't just do it from the two, he does it from the three-point line as well. He's going to shoot, gets the three, and the foul. He would miss that free throw, though. A few possessions later, Chargers trying to keep their lead, and Jack Gulley, he's going to help with that as he gets a three-pointer from the corner in their very next possession for the Wildcats. Carson Wonders, he said, no, nah, we're trying to get back in this game with the long two to close the gap between them and Hillsdale. Wildcats on the comeback, and senior Sam Taylor definitely helps with that. He drains a three of his own into the second period. We go the Chargers took over. They're going to go ahead and get a floater through that Wildcats defense for two. A few possessions later, their offense is running as smooth as butter. That's just come out the microwave. Hilldale gets another nice layup. Wildcats lose at home to Hillsdale, 70-52 the final. Now over in Nagani, this game wasn't close, but all eyes was on Nagani's Jason Waterman. He needed 17 points in this one to reach the 1,000-point club with under 30 seconds left. In the first half, he gets the layup to fall. He had 16. That gave him 18. Just like that, play stop, athletic director Paul Jacobson awarding Waterman a ball to recognize his achievement. Paul Jacobson also the football coach. An incredible moment for an incredible player. Incredible person to Nagani High School. The students knew it, and they were congratulated. Congratulating Jason on this fantastic Nagani career. He has done wonders for this program, basketball and football, and just the school, leading them to a playoff run this past season in football as well, looking to do that in basketball. Nagani wins this one after that, 68-48. <laughs> Now let's check out some scores around New P. Cardi Nato traveled to Powers to take on the Jets of North Central. This one came down to the wire, but it was the Jets that get the win, 46 to 41. And up in Copper Country, another close one as Calumet went to the neighboring Lake Linden Hubble, and they fall to the lake 62 to 60. We're going to move on to some more scores. Another game up in Copper Country. Houghton traveling across the river to Hancock. And the Bulldogs not able to keep up with the Gremlins as they fall 56-88. to Out east, Rudyard traveling to Newberry where they would get the win 51-35. We have another one. Out east, Brimley went to Cedarville. And this one was probably the closest game of the night. Going into double overtime. But be the Bays, they would go on to win this one, 82 to 76. Now we're looking back to the West. Dollar Bay traveled to Ontonagon, and they would get the home victorious, winning 68 36. And we also got more for you guys. Rockets of Rapid River. They were on the road against the Trojans, Forest Park. And it was another good game with the Rockets getting the win 50 to 44. And yet again, another matchup for the boys tonight of Republic Michigami facing Mid Peninsula, who would defend their home gym and win this one 48 to 40. Zach England had 21 points for Mid Penn. Eli Lukula had 11 points for Republic. Now, guys, let's throw it to some more. Basketball girls highlights, shall we? Tessalisa and Maddie Koski getting ready to host Manistique on this Thursday night. Two of the best in the biz for the Patriots. But before the game started, Westwood presenting the Medal of Excellence honor to alumni Katie Elamaki. She was a three-time All-American Cox Country runner all around, holding the GPA of 4.0 at Fair State. Great athlete, great career. On to the next. Now, Westwood's second game. As many heights, they show fatigue, but Tessa Lees with the steal hands it off to Matty Koski, takes it in all the way. And moments later, it's Megan Johnson into the lane against Manistique Defender for the pair. Westwood lost last night at Benomini, and they looked angry. They wanted blood to avenge their first loss. Still in the first, Tessa bringing it down. Matty Koski gets it before handing it off to Tessa's sister. And what does she do? Drains the three. Westwood basketball is a family affair. Westwood dominated in this one. They would win 72-21 over Manistique. Now over in Cal, you met the Copper Queens, hosted the Hematites, and they won this one 67-71. And the Forest Park Trojans was on the road against Norway and won 49-23. Mercedes Simmons had 21 points, 13 rebounds, and 6 blocks for the Trojans. Now moving on to some more scores, the Menominee Maroons and Stevenson. 
They battled it out and they continued their dominant form last night after they beat Westwood, beating Stevenson 77 35. And Lance and Berga were at it tonight. But Berga pulled off a few last second shots to beat the Purple Hornets 57 41. And now Bark River Harris and Rapid River fighting out and edged out the Rockets 57 to 41. And then the Gladstone Braves, they took on the Iron Mountain Mountaineers on the road and won 59 to 17. Lastly, on the road in Ironwood, it was the Red Devils. They would get the win 48 to 20, the final in that one. Now, from the court to the ice, Houghton visiting the Nagani Miners. Gremlins on the offensive and they strike early as Brandon Norco gets it in. And it was like this all night for Hope and Gremlins are going to go on the offensive again later. The first and senior Ty Harlan gets the long one in the net. It seemed as the Nagani didn't have an answer for the Gremlins offense. As later on, Nagani Houghton back in minor territory, everybody ganging up and eventually the Gremlins they're going to get another goal. That's three already in the first period, but it wasn't over as Gremlins using a lot of teamwork and they're going to do what? Get it in again for another one. It's been wonders for this offense, Ho, and tonight, a few minutes left in the first, Gremlins flying down the ice. They take a shot, but goalie Ryan Kirkula said, not this time, I'm tired of it. They slowed Ho and down. But not for long as the period winds down and Gremlins, they're going to go ahead and get a shot off right as the buzzer stops. Period's done. Five goals in the first. Houghton wins on the road. Eight to zero, the final. And finally, one last score on the ice tonight. The Marquette team traveled to Kingsford and take on the Braves. And they will be coming home the victors, winning three to one, the final.